Hi. In this video, we'll look at how you can use Burp to determine a session timeout. When a user doesn't use an application for a certain amount of time, most applications will automatically log out the user and destroy their session. To determine how long it takes for a session to time out, you can use Burp Intruder to issue the same request multiple times with increasing delays. This enables you to test compliance with security standards that require applications to time out within a specified period. A longer timeout gives an attacker more time to use or guess a session token. If you'd like to follow along with this process, you can use ginandjuice.shop, our deliberately vulnerable demonstration site. First of all, in Burp's browser, log into your target website. If you're using ginandjuice.shop, the correct credentials are Carlos and Hunter2. Go to the proxy HTTP history tab in Burp and identify a logged in request. Right click and choose Send to Intruder. Now go to the Intruder tab and we can set up our attack. Go to the Intruder Payloads tab. Under Payload Type, select Null Payloads. Under Payload Settings, select Continue Indefinitely. Now go to the Resource Pool tab. Select Create New Resource Pool. In Resource Pool Settings, select Delay Between Requests. Then choose to increase the delay in increments of X milliseconds. Add a delay time. For this test, we'll specify 300,000 milliseconds, so five minutes. You can choose your own value to suit your testing. Click Start Attack. Intruder sends each request, increasing the delay between each request by the specified amount. With the Attack Results dialog open, click Columns on the top level menu and select Time of Day. A Time of Day column is added to the results table. You can now sort the results by this column. Review the responses as the attack progresses. Identify the first request that indicates the session is invalid. For example, look for a redirection maybe to a login page. To determine the session timeout, identify the time difference between the logged out request and the previous request. In this example, we can see there was a five minute gap between each request, and the timeout occurred between 10 and 15 minutes. 